Hey everyone, uh, this is actually uh, going to be the first episode of a new series that is going to be roughly uh, Let's Play Briefly. Uh, so some of these games I will just play once, others I may move into their own series uh, down the road. Uh, but we are, uh, they're all going to be uh, releasing on Sundays I think, I think that's what I'm going to do with my Sunday releases. Uh, just do other random games that I have in my library that I haven't played in a while, haven't played ever, play so poorly that I gave up and throw them across the, the room, that kind of thing. Arvok Alliance is one of those games that I play so poorly that I throw it across the room, but I also love it because it is made by the dev who makes uh, Evercron Legacy. Arvok Alliance is a game that is basically like um, Wing Commander, or Free Space 2, and it is a mission-centered, sort of linear campaign game using the same universe as Evercron, using the same gameplay mechanics in terms of flight model and so forth. Uh, the, uh, the mapping of all the controls can be exactly the same. Everything works exactly as you're used to if you play Evercron. But Arvok is a combat game, and it's designed to be mission-based, played like uh, like Wing Commander, played like Free Space 2. Uh, there are also the there's also the possibility, I think, of making your own missions, uh, which I've never done anything like that. You can also do multiplayer, as you can see there on the screen, uh, right there. But, you know, uh, I've never gotten very far in this game because I'm absolutely trash at it. Absolutely trash. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what's going to happen here. We're going to do a continue campaign. I created a new, uh, a new pilot for this, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't remember how long it takes to load up, but it does take a second. And I haven't played this game since the most recent few updates, uh, so there are some bug fixes and some minor HUD changes and things like that, which I think uh, will improve the game a bit. And just as with Evercron Legacy, this game isn't in what I would call quote-unquote active development anymore. He's doing maintenance releases and updates for purposes of uh, making sure that the game continues to run, fixing glitches with graphics that pop up with different cards and things like that. But he's not actively adding features uh, in the way that he was before uh, because these games are essentially fully released. Um, so that is not a Welcome critique, of course. First official assignment as a combat yeah. pilot for the ASC Nova. I'm Commander Garrett, Flight Operations Officer for the Nova and you'll be receiving your briefings from me prior to each mission. Your promotions and command duties will only apply with my recommendation, so I'm the one you need to impress. You'll want to do well on this assignment, as it is the first that will be logged into the permanent flight record. Okay. Allied forces have departed Seoul and have been advancing toward Orion for seven weeks. We are one of the first ships of the 8th Fleet to arrive, and it's our job to help establish the Orion system as a base of operations. To get started, I'm sending you on a patrol near the planet Orion Prime. We've picked up signals that could be from Federation ships in the area. If so, it may indicate they've arrived first. Fly to the designated waypoints and scan for any possible hostile ships. As you may know, this civil war has taken its toll on our resources, and our combat spacecraft are limited. So we're forced to work with weaker ships at this point. You should be familiar with and type rated for the Ferret Scout spacecraft. If you need a review, training sessions are available from the ship's main console. Sorry you had to be pulled into combat with so little experience, but Alliance Command wants every pilot we've got. Consider this assignment a continuation of your training. Oh boy, yeah. So remember, if you've been watching the Evercron Legacy uh, playthrough, I have trouble fighting off one or two guys at a time. I'm going to run into eight, and I have some allied ships with me. And I am not very good at figuring out how to run my fleets, my little, uh, my wings. So we're we're gonna we're, we're gonna see how this goes. All right, here we go. So we're starting on this carrier, and I've got control of my tactical. Did see these. Expect us to run patrols in a scout. Formation. Oh god. That was a mistake. I think I hit the wrong button there. What was I doing? What did I do? What was that about? Oh, is that make a formation? Oh, turn that off. 
No. No, that... That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Ooh, okay, no, what I really wanted to do is look at this, the send orders. Form up. Alright, we're heading over there. And I think we can jump. I have a fear that I'm going to get over there and, and none of my dudes are going to follow me. So, I'm just going to I'm gonna slowly move forward here. So if I hit formation, that puts me into formation with them. So that was why I bounced around and everything. Tactical gives me indication of what I've got. My, here are my three ships uh, in my wing. Ship orders are here. They're on form up. The mission specs, this is the briefing that we did before. And then here's what's in my cargo bay. Formations type, spiral, wedge, curve, or box. Formation, proximity, distant, or close. So that's what we've got. So now they're all formed up. You can see that they're formed up here on my radar. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now, so if I accelerate, they're going to take a second. Yeah, there we go. See, they, they take a second to, to kind of match with me, but... I gotta say, I am crap at handling these formations, but the game is not. The game is really, really on point with this. If you've played X4 Foundations and you're kind of frustrated with the fleet, uh, fleet formations and stuff in that game, come here. Like, just straight up, come here. Here we go. So we don't do jumps like in Evacron, we do them more like high speed skips through space rather than uh, moving from one point to another. There we go. Okay, here we go. So I have to remember to turn off. Oh, that was a mistake. There we go. Where are they? Where are the bad guys? I forgot to turn off my jumpy, speedy thing. So now I'm far enough away, far away again. It's, uh, yeah, this is not starting out well for me, is it? I gotta wait for them to rejoin the formation, I guess. Where are you guys? That's one ferret. Where are the rest of them? Alright, come on, guys. Oh! What, did I lose them? All right, so he, now he's forming up. Okay, let's let's try this again. Oh, and I gotta wait for the jump drive to recharge. You can see right there in the top. Oh, I got two minutes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Send order. Attack hostiles. I feel like I lost one of my ships, but we'll make do, or we won't. You know. That's how it goes. Oh, nope, nope. There, they're fighting, they're fighting. Okay, can I get any closer? me in the head. I can't see my other sh my other uh, wingman. Where the heck is my where where are my other wingmen? Oh damn it! Uh, this is the other thing. This game, if you thought Evercron did not like like it when you strafe when you when you joust. This game really, really beats you up if you try to joust. Alright, I'm going to switch to my beams only, because I do need to get through those shields. Got it. Oh no! One of, them got, one of my guys got hit. You can see on the oh, you can see on the HUD top right there. You can see he's in yellow. She's in yellow, I should say. That means she's been taking she's taking some damage, and I lost my other ship. I lost my third uh, wingman. I don't know what happened. Hey, 
And just as in the uh, Evacron game, we need to manage our fuel as well. So if we let this fight go on too long, there's a chance we won't ever make it back. Oh, I'm not doing anything to him. Oh, God. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Got him. All right. Oof. Every, every freaking time. Oh, we've lost one of our guys. Yeah, okay. This is bad. Oh, come on. All right, his French shields are down, but I'm coming at him from behind, so... It's not helping. Where's my other ship? Where's my other... Wingman? Where'd he go? I have absolutely no idea where he is. Is there a way to check? Do I want to try to check? Even if I knew how, would I Would I want to do that now? Oof. Collisions, collisions, all these collisions every time. I am not going to be able to get this guy. All right, going after the other one. All right, coming up behind him. Oh, 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 oh. oh God, I gotta stop jousting. Oh God! Countermeasures, 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 countermeasures. Ah, oh, made it. Gonna get you. Oh, you're almost done. You're almost done. Oh, got him. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. One more, one more, one more. Weapons to full. I don't want to lose energy. I just gotta keep pushing. The nice thing about this particular scout is that it's got, uh, uh, compared to my crappy little mercenary ship in Evacron, is that this has a lot more energy so I can sustain fire for a lot longer. Even so though, it does it does eventually deplete. You can see there my weapon my weapon percentage is down to 70% and then it but it does rise up pretty fast, so. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it! Yes! Waypoint one objectives complete. Now there's like another there's another one. And where is this guy? He's he's gone. He's just straight up gone. Uh No target to form with. That's just me. Oh crap, that's just me. I lost all of my wingmen. Well damn. I guess I just got to do this by myself then. You know what happened? It was it was that jump. It was yeah, I failed to stop. I forgot that I had to stop. And I, and all of my wingmen scattered and they all got annihilated. So you can still move in this version of the jump drive uh, relative to Evercron. All right, 40 30 slow down. Stop, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. There we go. Okay. I need to stop sooner. <laughs> Weapon power full. I'm still going backwards. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I'm down to 200 fuel, which is half of my fuel. Oh, this is going to be so bad. All right. I'm going into inertial mode. Ah, uh, crap, 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 crap. I can see it right there. Oh, okay, it died. It died. Good. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, fucking... Can I even... 
Oh shit, that's a lot of missiles. Oh, come on! Got it? Nope, nope, nope! Oh! I'm admit- Oh, shit! Shields up, shields up! Nope! Oh, God! Get- Gonna get annihilated! Oh, my shields are still good. Shields are still good. How do I, how do I fix that? Oh god, I don't remember how to... Oh, come on! Alright, my shields are good, my shields are good. Alright, shields are dead. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, my hull has been hit. You can see that green bar on the left, uh, on the left MFD there. You can see I'm damaged on my formation list on the top right. I am not getting out of this one alive, I can tell you that much. I really should have... Ah, fuck! Down to 71 countermeasures. I am really bad at inertial mode, but this is the only way to preserve fuel. Oh, come on! Where are you? All right, frigate. I, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna just die with no fuel. Uh, nope. Shields up. Shields up. Shields up. Come on, get it. Yes, one down. Way too many to go. Ah, uh, all right. Gotta get my weapon power back up. All right. One hundred and fifty-five fuel. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Ah, this is so stressful. I'm not gonna be able to get home. I don't have enough fuel. Pretty sure I'm done. But I'm gonna take these bastards out. Oh! Where are you getting all of these missiles from? I only had two. How do you have like 12? All right, here we go. Uh. If ever you were thought I was joking about being bad at this game or any game, let this disabuse you of that notion. Oh, come on. Alright, shields up, shields up, shields up, shields up. Front shield, forward shield, forward shield. There we go. Alright. Equalize. Weapons up. Alright, equalize. We're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay, two more to go, two more to go. I know, I just want to kill him. Alright, weapons up.
Got him! Last one, last one. Got distracted there for a second. I'm down to 83, feel 82. All right, go into inertial. There's no way I can do this. I have, I have to be inertial. Are you coming back? I'm gonna play dead. And strafe. Go, 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 go! Yes! Holy shit! gonna be able to get home I'm down to 72 fuel this is this is this is ridiculous okay I gotta land on one of these guys this guy the destroyer right how do I uh, how do I land on you man I've forgotten and I've got to figure this out in 67 fuel. Pretty sure there's a land. Yes, there it is. There it is. All right. Going back to dampen mode. Oh, come on. 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 Get me in there. Get me in there. This is like that, like that scene in the Wing Commander movie. Except that guy was smarter than I am. Alright, in we go. We're gonna make it. We're gonna we're gonna frickin' make it! <gasps> Look at that. Congratulations, we've been promoted to Ensign. Excellent work on your first assignment. Our next task requires place. Alright, we're gonna exit that. At several key points around Orion Oh boy. That was intense. So that's that uh, after each mission it gets saved so I can continue from where I left off. Um, we're at 23 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it now because the next mission takes about just as long. Um, but I did want to just sort of introduce you to the game and I have a feeling I'm probably gonna end up revisiting this. I may not do a full series or if I do a full series it may not be just yet. Um, but I did want to kind of draw uh, draw your attention to it. It is a ridiculous amount of fun. It is also incredibly hard. My throttle hand, my uh, my stick hand hurts now. Um, giving myself some repetitive stress injury from that. <laughs> um, but it really does kind of fulfill that void. It fills that void of the Wing Commander series, the Free Space 2 game, and all of those types of uh, campaign-based, mission-centered combat games. There are some others out there, obviously, House of the Dying Sun, uh, and a bunch of others that are that are also really, really good. But honestly, I don't think anything beats Arvok Alliance in terms of the quality of the flight model, the intensity of the combats, and uh, the just the the general um, feel of the game. It's got a it's got a really sort of simulationist uh, feel to it, and and you just can't beat that. You can't beat that. So, yeah, uh, this is episode one of my uh, Let's Play Briefly, I guess, and I uh, hope you stick around for the next episodes. It should be coming out every Sunday, I'm hoping. Um, at least one, possibly two, um, but that is the way forward for my, uh, for my schedule, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.